Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. DJ Numismatics, and uh, went to the bank today to pick up some more of those. Hopefully, rolls of twenty twenties with the West Points in them. And while I was there, they had twenty five dollars, or sorry, twenty five rolls of uh, circulated nickels, and they had sixteen rolls of circulated pennies. So I figured, why not? We might as well pick up some more of these things. They do actually have the rest of that box at the the bank that I'll pick up tomorrow, along with hopefully, if we find some more West Points in these, more of these. Let me clear these nickels and pennies and out of the way, and we'll start with these, and hopefully, we can add to my West Point collection. See you soon. I totally forgot. Two of these came from a separate bank. The other one I can't find because I do believe it had uh, two uh, obverse enders on it. So I'll probably come across one more of these Rockefellers. So hopefully we'll find a West Point Rockefeller in here too. Let's crack it open. Well, finished all those rolls and my one random West Point hopefully isn't the only one because when I go back I'll pick up that sixty dollars in nickels and another hundred twenty in these quarters and hopefully we find some West Points in those so let's move on to sixteen rolls of copper and hopefully we find something better we're on roll five of the pennies and I've seen a hollow spot here let's see if I can find it Coming up, coming up, it's gotta be coming up here. I do believe, yep, right here. And we've got a two thousand and one Philadelphia minted dime. I'm up nine cents on the penny rolls. Not a major find, but a find nonetheless. Roll number six, and we have our first Canadian in the pennies, and that is a 1966. Roll eight of the pennies, and we're going to have another foreign, and that is a 1961 Canadian young head. We're on roll 14, and we got our first wheat cent. Oops. And that is a 1945 San Francisco. I'll check that off the off camera to see if it's got the RPM, and if it does, I'll bring it back. The 45S, I do believe, has 32 different RPMs you can find on them, so I'll check that. Well, it didn't have an RPM, but a few coins later, and we're going to have another Canadian. And that is a 1975. We're on roll 15, and we're going to get another Canadian. And that is a 1977. Well, I finished up that last roll of pennies and didn't find nothing else. We did end up getting that dime. Four Canadians. So basically, I'm up six cents on the 18 rolls of pennies I got. I did end up pulling a two nineteen sixty nine S's. Neither one of them were the, the big boys. I got... Two 72 S's, a 71 S and a 74 S, and I, like I said, I always save all my S minted uh, pennies. So, and that 19 
45 is. Let me get these out of the way and we'll run through a half a box of nickels. See you soon. Well, we're on roll number two and we got a 50s nickel and that is a 1953 out of Philadelphia. Sorry if my uh, voice is a little muffled. I had to switch out the microphone, so it's not quite as loud as the last one. I'll try to speak up a little louder. All right, let me finish up this roll. And we'll move on to the next. We're on roll number three, and we got another pretty crusty. Focus, 1953. And this time... It's out of Denver. Roll number five, and we have a 1948 in fairly decent shape, minted out of Philadelphia. Oh. Roll number eight, and we're going to have another 19. 48 minted in Denver. Same roll, and we got another 40s nickel. And that is a 1940 out of Philadelphia. I'm on roll number 10 and we got a 50s nickel, and that is a 1954 out of Denver. There looks to be quite a few older ones in here, so hopefully we'll get a couple more. Roll 11, and another 50s nickel. Oopsie. And that is a 1958 out of Denver. Roll 12, and we've got a 1947, Whoop. San Francisco, roll 15, and it almost looks silver, and it is, whoop, one year off silver, and it is a 19. 46 out of Denver roll 19 and we've got a oh, let me get that to focus there 1939 out of Philly I'll check it off camera for uh for the double Monticello and five cents. If it is, I'll bring you back in. Roll 21, and we've got a 1954 minted in Denver. So we're on roll 23, and I think I found something pretty cool. In 1963, Philadelphia minted the proof nickels. There's a proof, there's a cam, and there's a deep cameo. The deep cameo has got the extremely frost, or uh, it's frosted, and uh, the uh, fields are really shiny. This, of course, has been in circulation and it's not in the greatest of shape anymore. But the front's lost quite a bit of the frosting on it, I do believe. If we look at the back here, that one's still pretty frosty. And not to mention, it may just be a cameo, but I'm not sure. It's still got full steps. Pretty cool find.
roll 24 and we've got a 1940 out of Philly same roll and we got a 19 oh sorry 59 I do believe is that what it is yes 59 out of Denver well I finished up that last roll I didn't find nothing we got one from the 30s at 39 six from the 40s six from the 50s and then I've got some 60s 70s 80s and 90s that I'm gonna check against the album I think the best thing out of the whole best find out of the whole whole search was the it's super nice, well, not super nice, but for a 63, it's in really nice shape. Proof. I guess I forgot to mention earlier, too, they only minted, what was it, 3.4 million of these things? It was a pretty low minted, minted, uh, minted proof coin. Let me, uh, pull out the albums and see if we get any upgrades. And once I get them laid out, I'll bring you back and we'll pop them in there. See you soon. Well, in this book, I only found a couple upgrades. We're going to be able to upgrade the 94P just barely better. The 91D has got a little better hair detail. And over here, whoop, where is it? We're going to be able to upgrade the 71D as well. Let me pop these in and we'll check the next album. Well, in this album, whoop, it's looking like the only thing we're going to be able to upgrade, and only slightly, is the 57P. It's only slightly better. Which leaves us with, excuse me, the 50D. 45D, 44S, 44D, 42P, and 39D and S, and 38S left. Hopefully, when I pick up the other 30 rolls tomorrow, we can at least fill one of those slots. So, until then, I'll pop this one in, and like always, I'll post a link up here to my eBay page, because I put some of these finds on there, and down below in the description. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we find some West Points in some of these uncirculated 2020 rolls, and a couple fills or upgrades for this album. Stay safe out there, and happy hunting. Here we go.